Okay, so that is a grammar, right? So now let's move on to vocabulary. Wait a minute for a slideshow. So we have our vocabulary that is a generation. Okay, so look at the picture. What can you see in the picture? I can see a penguin. What can you see in the picture? I can see a penguin. Yes. So, what do you think? What is that? That's a stage of life. Start with a kid, right? Can you see it? An infant. Okay, what comes first? Uh, from a baby to an old man. Yes, from a baby to... What's the last? So that's an that's an old man. An yeah. adult. Yes. Okay. So this is our vocabulary. So go first. Please read it. Hmm. Uh, Adam. So we have adult, the centurion. Um, what is that? The centenarian, the infant. Centenarian. Yes, centenarian. Centenarian. So first we have the infant before we will go to this. So we have the new words. So what is the new words? It's a word that I do not have learned before. Can you see my slide? Yes. So what is that? What oh, do you understand about toddler? Toddler. Toddler. Baby? Again? Toddler. 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 Yes, toddler. Baby. Toddler. Yes. What have you understand about toddler? It's a baby. Yes. Is that in the school? Does the to toddler go to school? No, they cannot go to school. They're only baby. Toddler, are you sure? Okay, next. What is that? Elderly. Yes, elderly. Next. Elderly is just like a grand, um, pat and grandma, right? Okay, how about middle age? Yes, what is middle age? What have you understand about middle age? Okay. Next, what is that? Uh I think university. Yes, that's university. Next. Uh, married. Okay, very good. Married. Next. Uh, 
Divorce. Divorce. So, divorce. Here, what is that? Inherit. That's an engage. What do you what have you understand by engage? I don't know. Inherit. What? Inherit. Okay, inherit. Inherit. Okay, next. What's next? Uh, How to retire. read that? Yes, very good. Retire. What have you understand about retire? Retire. Yes, what is retire in your country? I think when like. Sixteen, you will they will return. Man is sixty-five and girl is sixty-two. Okay, can you please read the settle down? What is settle down? Hmm. Settle down. To get into a comfortable position and you have to keep my life. Yes, to, to get into a comfortable position or sitting or lying. So that is, what is that? That is you are comfortable, right? You are comfortable. You are settled down. Okay. You are sitting. Okay, you are lying. It's like that. Okay, you are settled down. How about okay. split up? Uh. Split up. Split up. Yes, what is split up? Okay. To start having a relationship with somebody. <laughs> To stop having a relationship with somebody. So to have have stop having a relationship with somebody. So that's split split up. Okay. Okay. So please remember that. Okay. Split up and the uh, settle down. Okay, here the speaking, speaking. So please read that. Okay. Uh, what? That's the one go. What? This What? What? That? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Are these people? What? We. It's, uh, it's people. Person. Human. Okay. Because they will uh, walk on four, on two legs, and two, and when they are small. And uh, to left when they are uh, is adult or uh, like teen, yeah. And three apps is like we use act uh, legs and a uh, and something to support you to go anywhere, right? Yes. So here, let's start work. 
individually. Can you answer the famous riddle from Sophocles play Oedipus the King? Do you know the story about that? What? What story? Oedipus the King. So explain your answer. What creature walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three in the evening? So that's okay. it. So that's the speaking. Okay, here. Four legs in the morning. Four legs, two legs in the afternoon, three in the evening. So we don't know the Oedipus the King, the riddle from the Oedipus the King. So can you please um search that or that's your homework? That's your homework to search that answer. What okay. is the answer of it? Can you please write that? What creature walks on the four legs in okay. the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three in the evening? So you can search the answer on that. Just please write that. And then I will ask the answer next meeting, okay? Okay. Go. Start copying now. Start copying the question. Okay. Now. Okay. Just I'm tell copying. me also if you are done. I'm copying. Okay. Okay. And copy. Okay, are you done? Okay. Are you done, right? Yes. Okay, task two. Number the stages of life in order that the people reach them. Then listen and click. Okay, for example. So, where come first? Hmm. By be an adult, be an uh, be an to be a two two. What is that? Okay, check the meaning of the life events below. At what age are they most likely to happen? Do you think? Put them in group A to E. Do you agree? Have you understand this? Yes, I know. Okay. So if you know it, so you can write your answer A, B, C, D, and E. You can write now. I will give you five minutes before we end.
right hmm. before you are doing before this uh before you are we born is i hey we born is i divorce i think is b of d b grow up is i leave school is uh b Spread up. Uh, split up. Okay. Split up, split up, split. It's slow. We see. Be brought up. What is be brought up? It's uh, be brought up or by. Yes. I don't know if be brought up. Take your example, just like we'll give you one example. So, before you are 20, so be born, be brought up. You can understand that. Okay. You read it carefully. Okay. Hmm. 
finish or hmm. we will end. Uh, become a grandparent is from 60. Right? Okay, let's start first with before you are 20. So before you are 20, so you will be born, right? Be brought up, go to the university, grow up, learn to drive, leave home, leave school, then start school. How about from 20 to 40? Yeah. How about from 20 to 40? Wow, wow, wow. What? From 20 to 40, what is your answer? I think it is um, get married, inherit, buy a new buy a house or flat, get your first job, uh, uh learn to drive, leave home, right? Mm hmm. Yes, get engaged, get married, get your first job, settle down, split up, start a family. So that's 20 to 40. How about from 40 to 60? Hmm. Uh, become a grandparent. Yes. What else? Uh, start a business, right? Mm -hmm. Get divorced, have a change of career, then inherit money and house. So start a business. So over 60, become a grandparent, retire. Okay. And then we have at any age, we have immigrate, fall in love, move house, pass away. So that means. Okay. So what have you understand in that lesson? About the age. Yes, all about age. So what is the importance of age? The importance of age is... I don't know. But I think it's important because that if you are old, you cannot do. And you can talk to um, good uh nice as nice as the uh, young the young one yes very good so here um that is the age right so we know already what are we shall go going to do or what shall we do about on that age so below 20 so you know already what to do it right play study Okay, go to school, go to church. So there are many things that we have at right. So mm -hmm. in the in in the uh, in every ages, there are some performance or the actions of each of us, right? So here. Okay. Thank you so much for your time today, Dad. Let's continue next meeting. And please do not forget those vocabulary that you've learned, those grammar, and also the what? Don't forget uh, in every age on what you should do or on what you've learned on it, okay? So, thank you, Dad. See you next time, Dad. Good night. Please don't forget to always study. Okay. Goodbye. Read books, please. Okay. Bye, Dad. Goodbye.